You got to tell us about your martini. I think it's just straight vodka. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Geezer Show. I'm Len Marino, your host, and today I am thrilled to have Philip Gettleman joining us from Los Angeles. Phil is an LA native who uh, started his career in the restaurant business and made his way into the entertainment business as a talent agent, eventually opening his own management business called Philip B. Gettleman Personal Management Company. Phil decided to bring his passion for food and his new home, and he now hosts a show called The Original Foodie. Great title. Thank you. Where did you grow up? I was born on Horner Street in the Pico La Cienega area of Los Angeles. I went to work in the restaurant business. And uh, a buddy of mine who I had gone to high school with was an actor and he was in need of a job. And I was able to get him a job also in the restaurant business. He called me and said that an agent friend of his was wondering if he would like to become a talent agent. He said, that sounds interesting. I have a buddy of mine. Let me talk to him and maybe all three of us can sit down and talk about this. And my buddy talked to me and I said, sure, I got stars in my eyes. We became talent agents. I found myself applying for a job with a personal management company. The personal manager is to advise, counsel, and create the career. A cousin of mine uh, passed away and left me a few bucks. And I said, I am now Philip B. Gittleman, personal management, and this is my company. Can you tell us about the original foodie? We do a show called The Original Foodie. It's interesting that you ate at the same restaurant, Hugo's, for how many years? It was a little more than 32 years, but uh, when I moved into West Hollywood in approximately 1980, I was on North Kings Road and uh, there was a Yugo's Italian uh, market, if you will. People went into Yugo's for their vita. And I'm eating there with a friend and I hear a voice from the door shout, do you have any beer? And with that, I, I turn around to see who it is. And walking in is Paul Newman with his wife, Joanne Woodward. Well, however, it got on the railroad tracks that celebrities came to Yugo's. All sorts of folks came to Yugo's. It just started to build Yugo's restaurant. And did they name anything after you for being there for so long? There was a... Uh, Mr. G. Latte. Oh. <laughs> uh, my latte consists of an espresso and a little bit of sugar and cream. I found that if you took all the ingredients and steamed them all together, that became my Mr. G. Latte. And then there was a martini. I'm, I'm fond of martinis, vodka martinis. Uh, so my <laughs> oh, my up. Dad is so good at martinis. He he likes to drink them as often as possible, right, Dad? <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> it's a martini less martini, but a loaded with vodka. Good, wonderful tasting vodka. What moved you or got you excited about the motion picture and television fun? Well, uh, there was a time in my life when uh, I had retired from the entertainment industry and uh, was looking around for a place to go. Where could I go? There was a friend of mine who 
was involved with the motion picture and television fund. And I spoke to him and uh, I said, I want to go out to the motion picture fund and I want to live in the residential community. And I had the eligibility requirement and I was past the age of 70, which you have to be in order to be accepted. It's just started to flow and bingo. Then I had to uh, regroup myself and get rid of a lot of clutter because the space available here as compared to what I had was really something to get used to. Oh yeah, oh and how. <laughs> it's very, very difficult. There's only so much space on the walls. And I have adjusted. Tell us about your original foodie. We, we have a closed circuit television station here called MPTF Studios. Jennifer Clymer is our director of media. We, well, we spoke and we put together this show called The Original Foodie. And join me as I explore our food options here on the Wasserman campus. Hi, it's Phil Gittleman, your original foodie. And today we're here at our weekly social hour. We serve hors d'oeuvres and each resident can enjoy two drinks from our fully stocked bar. It's great fun to get together, visit and sing along with our friends. I went to uh, restaurants and reached out to various restaurants locally and uh, would talk to them about food and their food. I did some uh, original foodies with some celebrities. We take some of those shows and we put them on YouTube under the guidance of MPTF. This is Joe Montagna. Please say hello to Joe and Joe, welcome to the original foodie. My pleasure, Phil. Glad to be here. I did not realize that you had a pizza parlor. Well, yeah, it was my wife's restaurant. It was called Taste. Chicago. Yeah. And we had it in Burbank. We, we had it for 16 years, actually. So it was pizza, pasta, Italian beef sandwiches, uh, hot dogs. Prior to anything happening in Joe's career as a manager, I would need eight by 10 photographs of actors. And Joe was a photographer and he would take pictures and he was quite good at capturing headshots for actors. That's where I first met Joe. And as time went on, he became a very successful actor. As I recall, I think you, you, you left a message for me on my machine in New York when after I won the Tony Award. You knew me as a photographer, but you really didn't know me as an actor. <laughs> it was kind of exciting for me. I, I saved that message because it was like, Joe, does this mean you won't be taking photos of my clients anymore? I, I see you won a Tony Award tonight. And, uh, and it's great, and I have such fond memories of that and working with you. We've been talking food, 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 but let me ask you, what is your favorite cuisine? You know, I'm a fish, chicken, fruits, and vegetable person, and mm. uh, I love Italian food, the things you can do with uh, the various kinds of pasta. Big favorite of mine, too. <laughs> we have that a lot of common. Yeah, you do. Dad's Italian, too. He's got some of it in his blood. Oh, well, Marino, of course, yes, yes. It's so interesting to me because my dad is probably, you're the opposite of a foodie, I think, Dad. You know, my mother for years could really put anything in front of him and he'd eat it. Tell us about your favorite recipes, Dad. I love artichokes. Mostly a broiled artichoke with loads of of olive oil and Italian breadcrumbs. When people come over, that's what I make, and they really enjoy it. There's a place called uh, Adagio, which is not far from here, which has on their menu uh, roasted red peppers with uh, anchovies and tomatoes and onions and oh, olives. That sounds great. I like the pasta with uh, various kinds of fish. Ah, 
Yeah, don't I forget love- stuffed mushrooms. That's the that's the signature Len Marino dish. Oh gosh, yeah. I that's another thing I I got from my dad and mom. Stuffed mushrooms, Italian breadcrumbs, loads of garlic, olive oil, and oh, I can taste it right now. <laughs> We ask everyone for some advice for living with purpose. How do you find yours and keep it? Swing away. Number one, I've always been a walker. We have some very nice facilities here and watching particularly what I eat. Food intake and exercise has brought me to my almost 85th year. I got you by 10 years. Um, <laughs> Um, I, take, I take my head off to you, Lynn. People cruising into our age have certain difficulties getting around. How about you? Do you find it difficult? Not at all. I'm still, uh, I don't use a walker. I don't use a wheelchair. I don't use a cane. I use one foot in front of me. And uh, I continue that by walking after breakfast and walking after lunch. I tell you, it, it's been a pleasure meeting and talking with you. It's really been fun. And Betsy, thank you so very much. And as I say to my guests, till we eat again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Len Marino saying, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life, and I'll see you soon. What are the rest of your plans today? For today? Yeah. What is today? Wednesday. (laughs) Oh, uh, guess what? What? I get a shower at 12 noon. (laughs) Well, that's exciting. Um, Yeah, I'll make sure the camera's on. (laughs) Yeah.